welcome back to a new vlog. We're going to create a little concoction right now. I'm having a little green drink because I don't think I've had a vegetable in multiple days. I wanted to do like kind of more of a juice vibe than a smoothie, like a thin smoothie. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm not trying to get the juicer out and everything. I also don't want this to be like a super thick, heavy thing. So I'm doing some coconut water. I'm also gonna give some to Leif, I think, so. Coconut water, orange juice. I also don't have any just straight up spinach at the moment. Like I only have these mixed greens, which should be fine, right? It's like spinach, chard. There is some arugula in there, which like could be kind of weird, but whatever. I feel like I should put a lot. Frozen mango, literally completely like freezer burned. Whatever, it's like full of ice cubes. Lemon juice. I'm not even gonna like taste this. I'm just gonna pour it into this cup, which I just got these new cups. They're so cute, the perfect size. They're like thick. I got them just at this coffee shop that we go to. They sell like little goods. Oops, Leif said, just give me the extra. So not that much. Let me see if this is even good at all. That's really good. Um, I love it. I can taste a little bit of, a little bit of something sketchy with the arugula in there, but Honestly, it's really good. Nice. You like it? Yeah. Hmm. What's the lemon? For squeezing lemon into it? Mm. <laughs> well, it just looks like, looks like there's nothing done to them. I squeezed some lemon, but I didn't want the seeds to be all in it, so I just squeezed a little bit of juice into it. It's good. It is good, huh? So I just self-tanned, well, like an hour ago, and threw my hair up. Now I'm eating a chomps. I need to do my makeup because we are going out with Caitlin and her boyfriend, Hunter, to dinner. It's a little bit later. The best day of my life was a few days ago when I got on the PR list for chomps and they sent me their new flavor, taco beef stick. You guys know I'm always in my meat stick era. For the past few months, I've been obsessed with chomps because, specifically because I've been trying to eat a lot more protein. They just like taste so good and they're not me like literally become a becoming a walking ad for them, but their like slogan thing is I'll stick without the ick. So it's like, you know, none of the gross stuff that's in like a Slim Jim or whatever. Big fan. So I need to go do my makeup. I'll see if my um, bathroom is like light enough for me to show you my makeup, but I might just show you after. I need to pick my outfit and I just realized like it's kind of soon and I've been like just dilly dallying and I'm like, wait, I need to like pick my outfit and get ready. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll show you what we come up with. Leif overheard me that <laughs> there's a new Chomps flavor. He's like, new Chomps flavor? You haven't seen that? No. They've it's been delicious. in the- It's delicious. It's good, huh? You guys would think that this video is sponsored by Chomps. Unfortunately, it's not. You know who else loves Chomps is Lady. Her ears look so puffy. <laughs> Lady, you look tiny. Whenever we're eating one, she is right by the feet. She can smell me a mile away. I love my outfit tonight. Okay, so I'm wearing this black leather blazer, or like jacket, that I thrifted when we were in Solvang. And then I'm wearing this really cute, I feel like this light is kind of hitting me at a weird angle. I'm wearing this really cute white like knit tank from Luca and Gray. They have really cute stuff right now. I'm obsessed with this. I'm gonna wear this a lot I feel like for like transitioning to spring. And I have this little black bag with my cute little butterfly clip that I also thrifted. And then these jeans. These are the moment. These are from my friend Tracy. She was like they don't fit me and they're perfect, you need to have them. I'm so glad she gave them to me because they are so, so cute, I'm obsessed with them. And then I'm wearing my little Steve Madden like slinky sandals. I did, I worked with them recently and I did like a little montage if you saw that on TikTok. Here's Leif's outfit. I really like your outfit tonight, I must say. Yeah, just threw some things together. I don't really have nice stuff to go out in. Whenever we go to like nicer dinners, Leif's like, I have no options, but I was telling him, I feel like he doesn't gravitate towards nicer, um, what's the word, like? Just buying those things. Yeah, like when we're thrifting or when we're shopping, you are going for like the vintage t-shirt vibe. 
not really the nice button up thing because for the most part I think most of our our outfits or sorry our style individually and together is very casual we rarely like get dressed up but I think it's fun sometimes here are the fits we're gonna go meet up with Caitlin and Hunter and I think we're gonna take the rabbit tonight yes we are also these earrings I'm in love with I got them from Free People like a really long time ago, probably two or three years ago, but I love them and I think they're so cute with these pants. And the two vloggers. <laughs> hello, hello. It is the next day. We had so much fun at dinner. We have spent today, I went to Pilates. I podcasted and then Leif and I went to a few open houses actually. I know I keep talking about like open houses and like buying a home and stuff and that's like, I feel like the next step or chapter in mine and Leif's life. However, we feel like we're still, like we just haven't found anything that has like really jumped out at us. But we've just been going to open houses to kind of catch a vibe, see different areas that we like. So we went to two different open houses and I am just really looking for something that has like charm and is cool. And I don't want something that's already renovated. That's like literally my number one requirement, unless it's renovated really well and I like, I'm obsessed with the renovations. A lot of places that I go, the renovations all look the exact same, like very just like all white modern farmhouse type of vibe. I just don't want that. I want to be able to, I don't want to pay all that money and then like rip it down. Do you know what I mean? Like I want to be able to either buy something I love already or do my own thing to it. That makes it a little harder to find houses that are like, you know, haven't been touched since however long ago. But anyway, we went to a few houses, or we toured like a few houses, nothing that was too incredible, but one was like really bright and pretty, and the other one I actually really liked. I could see a vision for it, but it was so dark. Like, it literally was, I swear the house was pitch black, and it had like windows, but I was telling Leif, I'm like, something about this house, like there's big shrubs around it, and it doesn't get the light I would want it to get. That is like one of my number one requirements. I know you could put windows places, but where it's situated, I just don't think it would get good light. And that's like a deal breaker for me because we lived in an Airbnb for like a month or two. We literally called it the dungeon, if you guys remember, in LA. Online, it like looked so cute and then it got such little natural sunlight, like no sunlight. That was my least favorite place we've ever lived or stayed because my mood was so affected by it being so dark all the time. That's like definitely a huge requirement for me. So I felt like that was just out, out of the picture because of how dark it was and I feel like it wouldn't matter if we put windows in. I don't know. Anyway, I'm about to make cookies. Delaney and Claire are coming over for a little game night and I'm making chocolate chip cookies. I love when people make like homemade treats. This is literally like a little index card of a recipe. Um, so when I got married, my mom, my grandma, and my aunt gave me all of their like favorite recipes on index cards. So I have like 20 of them. It's like their top each of them, I think maybe 30, each of them gave me their like top 10 recipes or something like that, which is so cute. So I've had these since Leif and I got married. These are like the best chocolate chip cookies. They're so good. But I always love when people just make homemade stuff. Like when we were in Nashville, we went over to Kristen and Marcus's house um, before our show, like the morning of our show. And Kristen made us breakfast and she made like homemade pancakes and bacon and whatever. And it was so comforting. And so I'm like trying to, I don't want to say like be that person because I'm not a great like cook, but I am per decent at baking actually. So anytime I have an event, instead of just like getting something store bought, I'm like, I should just make it, you know? Like we're having friends over, I should make cookies instead of just like buying them because that's the person I want to be and I love homemade homemade cookies there's nothing better so I am getting this stuff together one two three four five six seven eight that's two fourths and then one two three four like right in the middle okay I'm gonna soften this butter a little more I did um I'm doing vegan butter I feel like it'll be the same right like not too big of a difference instead of normal butter Ooh. Cream, butter, and sugars until fluffy and light in color. So we're doing brown sugar and normal sugar. Also, I'm wearing the cutest, I, the weather was actually nice today. So I was wearing this tank top. I just put this sweatshirt over because now it's like not chilly, but it's a little bit colder, but I'm wearing the cutest corduroy pants from Luca and Gray. They have really cute stuff right now. If you're interested, check it out. Okay, what am I doing? Three fourths cup of brown sugar. And this is brown coconut sugar. Never tried it, but one, two, three fourths. And then one fourth cup of normal sugar. All right. 
Gotta cream these together. Okay, adding egg and vanilla. Two teaspoons of vanilla. I wonder if I should be putting my hair back. Well, any hairs in the cookies? One, not it spilling off the side. Something that I really try and do is like clean up as I go, which I know is like the oldest trick in the book, but it does help a lot. Here's the moment of truth. Can I crack this egg, get it in here with no shells? Let's see. Actually, I'm feeling lucky. I'm, I have lucky girl syndrome. Heck yeah. Normally, to be honest with you, there's a shell in there. So that's a win. Okay, gonna blend that together. Mix and dry ingredients. Two cups flour. All right, all these are teaspoons. Where's my teaspoon at? Oh, it's right here. One teaspoon cornstarch, half a teaspoon of salt. I feel like this is like not the right salt to be using, but whatever. Mix that together. Did anyone else growing up, like did your mom make, or your dad, like make you, you know, make cookies or something and then take these off and let you like lick the batter because that is like a core memory for me. I'm scared I added too much salt. Well, maybe I just need to like mix it a little more. About a cup of chocolate chips. Okay. The cookie dough balls are here and ready. Moment of truth will be, I'm gonna bake them. I'm gonna bake these. Leif's gonna taste test. This is the ultimate uh, chocolate chip cookie dough connoisseur and see if they're passable or if they're too salty. I feel like sometimes the dough, maybe I'm just making myself feel better, is like the dough doesn't taste exactly how the cookies are gonna taste, you know? Like the dough, I, I've felt that way before where I'm like, the dough's good and then I have the cookie and I'm like, the cookie's amazing. So stay tuned. Leif, try this. Leif's making salmon for us. It tastes really good, huh? Yeah. Does it taste salty? No. It tastes normal. Yeah. You Think can tell it's like different ingredients. Than the old ones? Yeah. Because I did the coconut brown sugar vegan butter, yeah, I changed a few things, but they're really good. So, she they pulled a seven. Yeah, sure, so, sure. the 11 goes on top. The 11 goes on top? Yeah. Okay, so these No, go. no, no. No? No, because then the nines go on top of the negative one over here. See? Oh. So that all of them are gone now, and the nines are on top of the negative one. Okay. So okay. the 11 goes here. And then these go. On here. Lucky okay. seven, girl. Slice, wow. slice, Wow. Slice. You freaked out. <laughs> He's smelling everything. <laughs> Be careful. Careful, it can unleash the beast. <laughs> You're so cute. You don't even look real. She just got her hair cut. She looks I know, we have such a nice belly right now. <laughs> Good morning, guys. We are about to go on a little double date with Nick and Chelsea to get IVs. I have to be honest, I'm a little scared. I don't like getting IVs. Obviously this is not getting my blood drawn. Leif, you're creeping me out. <laughs> He's literally standing right outside of the frame. I don't like getting, I just don't like needles and they can never find my freaking veins. That's what I'm worried about. Small do you, veins. Do you think it's the same as um, like getting your blood drawn? Like it has to go into your vein, right? Yeah. And it has to go in a specific spot. I'm trying not to like overthink it and just hope that they're good at it, but I feel like even like very good medical people always have to use really small needles on me and they just can't, I don't know. You guys know the drill. If you remember back when we were going to a bunch of fertility appointments and I'd have to get my blood drawn all the time, sometimes they would literally just give up. Like they would just do it four times and then be like, sorry, like we feel too bad because I'd have bruises all over my arms. Chelsea's asked me to go like, a bunch of times. She's like, you should come, you should come. And I'm just like, ugh, I'm too scared. Anyway, I'm putting out good vibes today. Um, Leif and I both feel very, like, honestly low energy and I feel like this could be good for us. I leave to New York in a few days. Well, Leif's also coming to New York. So we leave for New York in a couple days. And I have two shows in New York and a show in Boston. And so I feel like I have a lot coming up and it would be good to get some, some energy, some hydration. Uh, I'll take you with me and hopefully they don't have to stick me a million times. Okay, so we're not getting IVs. 
we're getting compression. Even better. Even better. Honestly, even better. Honestly, we couldn't get IVs because we didn't make an appointment. We were just going to do a walk-in, but you have to do, like, a little meeting, basically, with, like, a, there's a consultation so they can make sure you're, like, in good health, I think, to get the IV. But anyway, we didn't plan accordingly, so we are just doing compression, and then we're going to do cryotherapy, which will be fun, so... We're still having our little health and wellness moment. Feels like we have huge ski boots on. This thing just like constricts your feet and like puts a ton of pressure and compression on it. And then it like releases and it just does that over and over. We're doing it for 30 minutes. How long do you think it's been? I think there's a timer. Mine's oh. finishing right now. Oh really? It's just finished. Oh yeah, we're really close to being done. And then we're gonna get cold. We brought the boys. They're doing hip, hip compression. <laughs> Nice. We're about to get in this, the little cryotherapy machine. You gotta get these mittens, these socks, slippers. Get this on. Wow. <laughs> we are going to lunch with Delaney and Clay. And I just got my nails done, guys. Look how cute this color is. I forgot all my rings today, which feels really weird. We're leaving to New York in how many days? Three? Two? Uh, yeah, like two and a half. Three days. And our anniversary is tomorrow, so it's a great, it's a great week. But I got these nails for the show in New York, and I think the color's so cute. I'll put the name of it on the screen, and you guys know I go to M Nail Bar, and it's the best nail salon I've ever been to. I go to Ivy. You guys can mention my name for like money off if you live in Orange County. But they just always do like the best shape, best colors. I don't know. I just love them. They look fantastic. Thank you. Leif said he really likes my outfit today and my hair. I feel like normally guys say they don't like um slick back. Maybe I'm wrong though. I like it. It's like the baggy jeans. Like guys don't like baggy jeans typically. Have you heard that sound on TikTok? It's like I hate the jeans where you like can't see the, like basically can't see the shape of the girl because it's like so baggy. Mm -hmm. That's all I wear is baggy clothes, so. Leif is wearing something that I, did I thrift this for you? What the? I switched. You changed. I changed. Very rude. It wasn't really working with the shorts I have on. Oh, okay. Because it's a sunny day, like it's yeah. pretty nice, but it's like kind of... Like the wind is a little chilly, so I just wanted something. And I put on a North Face like windbreaker that JC got me. But, but I don't remember where I got that thing for you. It was frumpy <laughs> when I had it zipped up. Yeah. I thought it was cute though. I like, like I haven't seen you wear it really. Yeah. Maybe we'll go thrifting later today yeah. if we have time. But yeah, we're gonna go meet Delaney and Clay for some lunch. And I don't know where we're going, but it's gonna be fun. That this green juice was the best um, invention, the best creation I've had in a while. And I literally drink it every single day. It's the one I showed you guys um, earlier in this vlog. It's so good and it's so easy because you just put it in a blender, but then it's like more juice than it is smoothie, which I like. Sometimes I just get over smoothies. I still want a smoothie sometimes. I did run out of coconut water though. Still good. I just use normal water and orange juice. But the coconut water definitely adds something to it for sure. Yum. We're gonna watch the Suns game. Starts in like, what, an hour? That's the vibe. Chill vibes today. I also wanted to show you guys that I got the cutest package from Emma Leger. If you guys follow her, she's so, so cute. She has such good style. She came out with a brand of olives. Look how cute. So two different types of olives and the package was really cute. It came with this candle. It says Emma's olives and it smells incredible. Like really, really insanely good. I actually want to light that candle like today. And this little like ceramic jar to put the olives in. How cute. If you're an olive girly, you gotta check it out. I actually just, well I've tried olives before, but I feel like I'd only tried black olives and I actually tried green olives lately. I think it was with like 
a cheese board and I actually really like them so it's funny because I grew up as like a very picky eater like I think everyone around me would definitely define me as picky but the older I get I'm like trying more things like olives tomatoes onions like all these things I used to not like I like most of them honestly so I think I'm getting not picky anymore which is fun but I can't wait to try these they just look so so cute and it's such a creative like fun little brand oh I also got this which I already put the they have like a moisture mask. The brand is um, Crown Affair, if you guys have seen them in, on Sephora. But they gave me this like hair oil and their dry shampoo, which is in a little thing, which I'm interested in. I don't even know how to use, oh, it has like a brush. I've never used dry shampoo like this. It's like powder that you like put on your head. Honestly, that seems effective. And you guys know I have very oily hair, which is why it's back in a bun like this right now. But they sent that and then this like moisture mask, which is in my shower, I just put it in there. And then this really cute brush. I love just their like simple minimal branding and I'm excited to try it out. Chelsea actually loves their like hair towels and I think she has their scrunchies and she's told me she really likes them. So I'm excited to try out their stuff. I've never bought anything from them. Excited about that. Maybe I'll bring some of this to on, on my trip with me. The next day, two days later, um, I just put in a few clips of our little anniversary dinner. We got some sushi, it was so, so good, so fun. We actually went to dinner a lot later than we normally do. We like usually go to dinner kind of earlier, I've been learning, at like six, I don't know, do you guys feel like that's early? A lot of our friends will be like, do you wanna go to dinner at like eight or even like nine? And I'm like, what the heck? That's usually, on weekends, I get it. But I feel like I usually try and get in bed kinda early. So anyway, last night we had a dinner, um, our anniversary dinner was at 8.30 p.m. So we were gone until like 10 or maybe even later. I feel like we got home at like 10.20 or something. Anyway, it's the weekend so it doesn't matter, but. Uh, we woke up this morning and I just got ready for the day. I actually am about to clean my makeup brushes. I'm trying to be responsible because I leave for New York. We leave tomorrow afternoon and my makeup brushes are, I was like, I have not washed them in so long, especially with like skin stuff. I feel like you have to be more on top of it if you break out um, just having clean brushes. I mean, probably no matter what, you should be on top of it, but I just really realized it had been a while so I'm gonna clean these um, or wash these before we leave tomorrow so that they have time to like dry and stuff. Dampen the brush or sponge with warm water and squeeze a small amount of shampoo onto the tool and rub with fingers. Okay I'm gonna wait for this water to heat up. I cannot wait for New York. When you're seeing this I don't know if it'll be after the show happens. I think it should be right before. So if you're seeing this, make sure you guys go get tickets if you're in New York to our show because it's literally gonna be so fun. Tickets are still available. I will link them in my description. But once they're gone, they're gone. So if you see tickets are available, they could be some of the last, so make sure you get them. But it's such a fun thing to come to with your friends. Honestly, a lot of people that have come to our shows, sorry, can you guys literally even hear me with this water going? But we've met a lot of people at our shows that like, their friend just brought them, but they had no idea. They have never listened to the podcast or anything. And people have brought like their moms who like don't listen, but it's just kind of like a fun girls night, you know? Or you can bring your boyfriend or your husband or whoever. But I'm super excited. I just made some plans also to go out after one of the shows. Another late dinner plan at like 9.30. I was making reservations to go at 9.30 and I was like, wow, am I officially an adult? Like going out to dinner so late? Oh wow, this brush is real. It uh, has a lot of foundation on it. I'm sure that's good for my acne. I need to do my hair and I need to shoot a few things before we leave for our trip. You know what's so nice is that our flight tomorrow is at like 2 p.m. That just makes me so happy because I hate early morning flights. Like. Sometimes they're necessary and it's fine, but I hate when you have to get up at like 4 a.m. for a flight. There's nothing worse. It's just like, you don't sleep well that night. Well, I'll speak for myself. I don't sleep well the night before because I'm like anticipating the alarm going off super early or I don't want to miss it. So I'm like 
tossing and turning all night. Anyway, I'm excited to just like not have to wake up at the crack of dawn and actually have minutes in the morning. But I'm still gonna try and pack today because I don't want to be packing like the day of. So I'm gonna try and be responsible. I wonder how long these brushes will take to dry. Okay, well I'm gonna stop this water because it might be annoying to listen to, I hope it's not. But um, this is gonna be the end of this vlog and I'll be vlogging in New York and Boston. So make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you get your New York tickets if you wanna come to our show. It's gonna be a fun next couple of weeks. So subscribe, but only if you're hot. Love you, bye.